explained in the simple language of an engineer. Addiction is a program, process or an algorithm of your natural machine to do something just for the sake of reward or return. This reward may be in form of money, in form of getting likes on Facebook and increase in the number of Instagram followers may be in form of being player or entertained. This addiction could be behavioral, habitual, drug or even social media. It is this rewarding effect system that reinforces important behaviors that are essential for our survival such as eating, drinking, thinking, social media interaction, social interaction, etc. Let me explain you with a simple example. You will get to try you will get you will try to get food when you are hungry. Right? Am I right at this point? Yes. Yes, that's right. Nice. You will try to get food when you are hungry because you know that you will get this when you eat some food. You will have your meal, you, it will make you good. In other words, in other words, it makes the activity of eating pleasurable. It, so you would do it again and again to make to feel you happy, right? In drug addiction, the dopamine release from the neurotransmitter and as per algorithm it is supposed to travel back. But there is a twist in this. The drug molecules act at, act at nerve terminal. They bind to the, they bind to the neurotransmitter and block the reuptake. Different drugs act in different ways, but the algorithm of blocking the dopamine to cerebrum is same. It is in these patterns that cure lies, because we aim to counter them. And we done this with the help of neurofeedback system or biofeedback systems. Neurofeedback is the feedback of your brain to your brain but through a computer screen. You might be wondering why an electrical engineer is working on biomedical scientists. It's actually a quite funny story how I stumbled upon this field. So back in my early engineering days, my teacher recommended me an internship with some foreign country. This uh, so research that interested me so much, I didn't exactly focus on my classes. Long story short, it's an exam day. I'm a sitting in examination hall, blankly looking at my paper, and I realized how much trouble I am in. My best friend sitting at the other corner of the classroom, and I'm wishing somehow I could communicate with him telepathically. This thought stayed with me to the point and I researched it more. And I figured out that we can actually use brain signals to do many things. So we used EEG technology to develop the treatment of depression and addiction. And this is how this electrical engineer went to the sciences. Now get back to the point of neurofeedback. During neurofeedback we place electrode on the brain to initiate your feedback session. We compare the brain, what it is doing and what it is actually supposed to do. During your feedback, the, when the brain of a depressed or addictive person tries to be in a relaxed and comfortable state, we can easily see the positive response of this brain on our computer screen. Usually, this neural feedback is in form of movies, games, yoga, exercise or anything which fulfills the desires of addictive person. As I said, our brain got hijacked during addiction. My brain got hijacked during addiction. This is the point. This is the point 
when the neurofeedback acts on it. Neurofeedback is medication free. It is safe and highly effective. Training of a brain can be a much more effective way to dealing with addictive and depressive person. And I am very proud to inform you that our research group is one of the pioneers of this field in Pakistan. If you think you are, you are addicted, maybe habitual, drug or even social media, please step up and ask for help. Stay happy, stay blessed.